Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to create AI selfies using Meta AI. Probably watching this video and going, why are we even talking about AI selfies? They've been around for a while. That's true, but the latest update to Meta's Llama AI interface has taken things to the next level. Llama or Meta AI already has an awesome image generator. I had to look at my phone real quick because I don't know why. But anyway, the AI image generator in Meta is incredible. And now they've taken it to the next level where you can actually take Im images or selfies of your face and have Meta transform those or transform those into AI images. Now this along with um, Meta period, the AI generator will work with Facebook, it'll work with Instagram, and it'll work with WhatsApp. So let's take a few minutes to look at the app version of this AI tool and the desktop version as well. So let's switch screens here, or actually, give me a second. Oh look, I've got my phone up. There we go. So let's go into Facebook it's my favorite app to go into well, what you want to do on Facebook is you want to go to the messages because uh, actually take that back we want to go to search so once you're under search you can ask meta a particular thing so when you use the meta tool you just need to go imagine and me as because it's bringing up uh, yourself and you can do whatever you want to do so we're gonna do imagine me as a Viking so let's hit that and up oh, there's some AI generated images that have come up and as you can see wait a few minutes and there you go there's an image of me as a Viking and I can click on it I can look at it I can download it to my smartphone there's a host of things that I can do with this AI generated image now before you go into the AI gen generation image tool you will again have to go to search because search is where Facebook actually puts its information when it comes to AI generation and AI period. So again, go to search and let's go back to our desktop so that you can see that happen. So if we go to search, we'll X out of that and AI, Meta AI will store your images. And if we go back to search, there's the search option. I'm going to click on it and it gives you Meta AI or gives you the option to search. Let's get back to me because I like staring at myself. But anyway, let's switch to Instagram. I have to switch these because sometimes crazy stuff comes up in your search. So again, I'm in Instagram now. And as you can see, the tool in Instagram is a little different, but there you go. Ask Meta AI or search. Now keep in mind too, when you go to imagine me, ah, I hate when those alerts come through when I'm doing a video. It, you will have to do it for every social media tool. Um, and we'll do a fireman. And let's see if this works. And it didn't, but it should work in Meta AI and I'm not sure what's going on, but the same thing for WhatsApp. You can go into the search and it will actually allow you to create AI selfies of yourself. But what I was going to say is when you first go into the search option for Meta, Facebook, Meta, Instagram, and WhatsApp, it will ask you to take selfies, especially if you type imagine me as, and then it'll do its thing. Now, keep in mind too, since Meta is interconnected, you may think that Meta will allow you to go in and say, okay, well, yes, you are creating a selfie and it'll just do it, but it'll pop up, make you do your selfies first, and then you can start using this amazing tool. Now, one of the things that was interesting when I set it up, or so I thought I did, on Meta 
Instagram is that you have to do your initial selfie in each account, meaning that even though you have a meta account that spans all through Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp, you still have to log on to each tool in order to make sure it works. Now, the good thing about that is that you may have to do multiple selfies for each of your meta apps, but when you use the desktop version, which a lot of people don't know about, of Meta AI, and you're signed into your account, like I am down at the bottom, see here, lower corner, I can log out, I can log in, but I'm logged in. The good thing about it is, is that I can go to Meta's image generating tool, and it actually will allow me to do the Imagine as. Now, just if, if you haven't seen the Meta image generator tool, let's start with that. So like, say chat GPT or other tools, you can just tell it that you want to have an image made and it'll do it for you. But you can say, create me a picture, uh, design a picture. That would be the prompt that you would use in tools like Copilot and with chat GPT. But with Meta, you have to go use Imagine. So let's use the generation tool. So let's go imagine a picture and then after a few seconds of it'll start to create your AI image and for the sake of me wearing a superhero sh shirt we're gonna say the flash but it brought up a flash car so there we go and as you can see as you generate it it or type in your prompt it gives you what the actual image is now unlike some of the other AI based tools out there um, Meta does not allow you to upload photos, to my knowledge. But going back to our desktop image, we've got the flash, and you saw the image generated before with Facebook on the app. But if we do the image generator on a desktop computer, you actually get four images that it will design for you that you can uh, work with. So here is the actual four images of the flash and then with each one you can do like you do on the Facebook app you can download it uh, you can save it to your phone um, but also the desktop gives you the option to animate so if we click on animate then it will take it a few seconds and then it will create a gif or gif however you pronounce that and there you go you've got a moving image of the flash now we'll warn you beforehand that it does not, the image generator will not animate your images if you do it. So now let's go to generating our own selfies using the Meta AI and it will save them. So let's switch back to the desktop and then I will show you previous ones. Now this one's kind of sad in my opinion. So I try to do an image, well, let's scroll up because my son's got a hold of the computer. Try to imagine me as, as everything. But always remember that AI is experimental. So look at these images of me as the Joker. Didn't do such a good job because I uh, don't have the pasty white face as the Joker, but I definitely have the clothing for it. Now the second photo would be me as Blade the Vampire Hunter. And there's the prompt that I put, imagine me as Blade. So let's scroll down. We got four photos. You can edit them and tell Meta that you want to make changes. So what changes would I like to make? I would like to have a sword and scabbard. Hope I spelled that right. Uh, add it to the costume. So once you edit your existing photo, you can have Meta do it for you, and then it will edit your existing photo. Now, Meta does allow you to do some prompts without being signed into your account, but with the generator, you do have to be signed into your account, so that way it knows how to pull your pictures. So give me your thumbs up or thumbs down opinion of some of these AI-generated images. I did one as Black Panther. Now, for some reason, it added hair, which obviously I don't have, but that's okay. Next, we decided to do Captain America. And then I try to imagine 
with the mask, but it didn't work. Next on the list is Falcon from the Avengers. Um, and I had to go in and edit this and tell it to add wings to make it look more authentic. And then there is Bleach character. If you watch anime, you know there's a uh, Akuma from Street Fighter, and then there's me as Captain Kirk. Uniform didn't come out right. And then there's Ichigo from Bleach, and then of course there's me as Naruto. So my sons had some fun. But to give you a live demo of this, you can go to Imagine, and it will pull over from your Facebook or Instagram account. So imagine me as a, oh, let's think of a good question, a plumber. So you type in your prompt, and of course with image generator prompts, you don't have to be detailed like you would a content prompt, but uh, the more details, the better. So there's me as a plumber. And then as you can see on this photo, which is crazy as heck, for some reason I have a pipe arm and then I've got a pipe hand. So again, always remember that AI is an, exper is an experiment and sometimes you won't get the images that you want, won't or not won't, want from AI. So keep that in mind. Let me get back to me. There we are. So anyway, I hope you can take advantage of Meta AI and have fun with this selfie generator. Again, a lot of AI tools will not allow you to upload, upload your photo because of privacy concerns. I know Copilot's one of those uh, gener generative AI tools that just will not let you upload your own personal images. You can do images of fictional characters, but not of yourself. But if you want to play around and um, create stuff like a business, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Business headshot, like, oh, that's just regular headshots. And you can't see it anyway, because it's on my phone. But anyway, if you wanted to create AI image professional headshots, which I can quickly show you, because I found them. There's some, let's scroll up a little. There's another, you can also tell it to change the background. There's me playing a guitar. But anyway, this kind of gives you an idea of the information that you can do with Meta AI. And as far as the shot, the generated headshots are concerned, they always stay connected to your Meta account unless you go into settings and take it out. Speaking of which, I'm sure some of you are watching this and going, oh my goodness, I don't want this stuff. This is, a, this is kind of a dangerous tool. Give me a second. Let me reconnect my phone and I'll show you the easy way to go into settings and turn these features off. I feel like I should be doing Jeopardy as my phone is doing its thing. So I'm in, let me get back to my main screen and let me get back into Facebook because that's the easiest way to do it. So if we show Facebook and then go into search, go into Meta AI. Oh, there it is down at the bottom right here. You can go into the information screen, you can go to AI training, or you can go to AI images of you. Now, AI training is just basically a disclaimer that Facebook is going to use all your information to help train AI. Other, the other thing is if you go into privacy and go to AI generated images of you, you can generate AI images when you ask. And to give you a little spoiler, if you want to create your photo, there I am right there, you can tell it to recreate your photo. So I'm gonna get out of that because I don't wanna retake my photo because I have already. But that's what the selfie tool looks like when you go into Meta AI. Now I'm concerned because I'm like, uh-oh, did I goof it up? But we'll deal with that later. So I hope you were able to learn something out of this um, as far as how to make your own AI-based selfies. Again, there are a lot of tools out there but at the same time, you can just use the power of Meta in order to make that happen. Now with every video, I'm always begging everyone to comment, like, and share this video. If you know somebody who struggles with technology, this is definitely the video for them. So with every, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, with every video, I'm always trying to find opportunities to help people uh, get more from the technology they use at home and at work. 
Uh, I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching. Thank you.